guillotining tab is where we add all the stock details and all the sheet sizes, running sheet sizes, finished sheet sizes, etc. If we click on the stock menu, we'll see we have the option of select stock. If we select stock, a dialog will be displayed with all the stock items in the Print Quad Pro database. We can average, delete, search, use, omit, all, add stock, modify stock and select stock. Whenever we're doing NCR, pads or docker books will be working with sets of NCR stock. The average button enables us to combine various pieces of stock that have different prices to make up a set. The price is averaged and the print job is calculated as if all the pieces in the set are at the average price. So we can search for all our NCR stock. And then we can select the stock we want in our set. If we're going to do a triplicate book, we can choose the three types of sheet we want in that. Click Average. And then we'll be asked to give the sheet a new name. Click OK. Then you'll be asked how many of each of those sheets you want to include in the set. So we only want one of each because it's a triplicate set and there's three different types of sheet. Once the sheets are averaged, the three sheets that were used for the set and the composite sheet will be displayed on the screen. If we double click on the newly created sheet, we'll notice it has all the colours of the components and if we click on component combo details, we'll see a list of the sheets that we comprise the averaging of this for this particular job. Sheets have a end rate, an actual grammage rate and a second rate per thousand sheets. Your end rate can be used for cut sheets if you want and your second rate can be your bulk sheet rate if you want. Then the size and length, the width and length of the sheets and whether it's sheets or rolls. These details are used when you're using the stock notification feature. That's your notification quantity and that's the quantity in stock and that's the actual stock cost. If we wish to delete a stock item we first select it and then click the delete button and you'll be asked to confirm the deletion. Click Yes to delete it. The search button enables us to search the stock items by stock name, weight, length and width, a range for the end rate and a range for the second rate and also whether they're sheets or rolls and also if we've got the stock notification feature running we can select stock, search for stock that is at critical levels. We can search all records or a selection of records. We can save searches and load searches. So if you've got a search that you do quite often, save the search and then you just need to load it. You don't have to type in the criteria each time. And then we click do search to search the items and then show to display them on the screen. So we'll go all items if we want to make a specific selection of records, we can first click on them using the control key and then click use and then they'll become the current selection. We can also select a number of items using the control key and go omit and that will remove them from the current selection. Or we can click on all to get all stock items in the file displayed in the current selection. To add a stock item, we just click Add Stock Item, type in the name, the supplier, the colour, the weight, choose whether it's sheets and roll, end rate, second rate, the width and the length, 
and if we're using stock notification, the notification quantity and the actual quantity we're putting in stock. To modify a stock item, we just select the item and click on the Modify button and all the details will be loaded into the input layout so you can modify it and save the changes. So all you would do is search for your stock item, select it. So if we do a search, so we've got brilliant white white linen board, if we're going to use any other form of stock, we so we just search for the stock item. In this case we're using laid bond. So we use search for laid. That's it. Choose it, select it, and drop it in. Then once you've made changes to the, anything on the screen, you click the update print item and that'll save your changes. In the document layout, we can cause sheets to be laid length to length for the main sheet to the main sheet, sheet one to main sheet, or sheet two to sheet one, we can lay length to length. That depending on whether you want to run the grain with the grain or, or it doesn't matter. Then we can choose the running sheet size from our drop down menu. These sizes have been input into the sheet sizes tab of the Print Quote Pro setup and are readily available here. This is good when you've got employees doing quotes and they're choosing sheet sizes. You're not going to get any strange sheet sizes, only the ones that are in these lists. And that automatically sets the values for the length and width. Calculates the number of pieces. We can also click on a checkbox to lock that and, and have less pieces per, per area. So instead of having four pieces out of this, we could make, force it to be three or two. And also we can decide whether or not we want to space if we've got a bleed all around each item in the, in the sheet on the running press. And the number of cuts we can control by clicking on the checkbox. The pieces required are carried over from the job details tab. And here we can also enter in the number of overs we want for the job for each quantity. The default value is loaded, then that's the one that's set in your press preferences. And the guillotining costs are calculated there, and the stock price is calculated there. We can choose to include guillotining of the overs and include in the cost of the stock the overs if we wish. We also have here when you load the stock you can choose to have the end rate or the second rate. So if they have two rates the sheet only has an end, end rate, it doesn't have a second rate but if you had one that had either you could change, you can choose that as the default, the end rate or the second rate is a default, but then you can change it in the quote on the guillotining tab. And you can also put a markup on the stock if you wish here. The layout is description is displayed in this box here. So you can read how the sheets are to be laid up to get the best guillotining and the best number of sheets out of your stock.